In this video, we're going to compute the critical values of a two-tailed z-test. So we're going to focus on problem number six. It says, suppose that in a two-tailed hypothesis test, the test statistic is 1.57 and alpha is 0 0.05. Compute the critical values using StatCrunch. So this is a two-tailed z-test and we're computing the critical values using StatCrunch. So you go to stat, calculators, then you go down here to where it says normal, and then you left click. Now you want to leave the mean and standard deviation at the defaults. And one way to do this is to just leave this at less than, and you take your alpha. So alpha is the level of significance, and you want to divide the alpha by 2. So if you take 0 0.05 and you divide it by 2, you end up with 0 0.025. The reason you have to divide it by two is because it's a two-tailed test. Then you hit compute. So boom, there's one of the answers, negative 1.96. Negative 1.96. And then if you pick greater than and you enter 0 0.025 again and click compute, you get the other one. So there it is, 1.96. So 1.96. So the answers are negative 1.96 and 1.96. So again, the first step is you take the alpha and you divide it by 2. So 0 0.05 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.025. Then you go to stat, calculators, and then normal. You leave the mean and standard deviation alone, and you take 0 0.025 and you put it in this box. And then it actually doesn't matter what you pick here. You can pick less than or you can pick greater than. I'll leave it at less than and just hit compute. So we get that negative 1.96 is one of the answers. But automatically, the opposite of that is an answer too. So 1.96 will also be an answer. So all you do is take the alpha, divide it by 2, put it in this box, hit compute, and you're going to get a negative answer. So the answers are the negative one and the positive one. So these guys here are the critical values. So I hope that made sense.